Hey everyone, I was uh, trying to find a ruler to do a really nice and tight drawing for you but it seems I'll have to do without it somehow or will I? That's the thing, Sketchbook Pro has all the tools you need to do a really tight drawing. Now that we have another cheesy intro out of the way, let's talk about Sketchbook. This drawing is my latest entry to the weekly design challenge on Instagram. Check it out, it's actually a fun weekly challenge. So, as I said, I wanted to do a drawing with a really nice clean line work and for that I like using Sketchbook because it's very design friendly tools. As you could see there, I did a couple of sketches before I had the very inspired idea of actually recording the drawing. After I did those exploratory sketches of the side view, the folding mechanism and suspension mechanisms, I started drawing the three-quarter view sketch. I always like to have an underlay sketch to help me construct a cleaner uh, drawing above it. And yeah, that's when I started actually recording. So far, you could see how useful the ellipse tool is. I can quickly construct any circular form I want to with the help of this easy to use tool. You just have to align the axis of the tool with the axis of the round shape you want to draw, adjust the thickness of the ellipse and voila, circle is ready. After that, I use the ruler tool to lay down some very uh, clean lines over the rough sketch. This is an even easier tool to use. There are two handles that let you position the ruler in any direction you want. Now, Sketchbook has many other extremely useful tools and also emulates Copic markers and Copic colors, but as an industrial designer, I find these two to be the most useful tools of Sketchbook. Keep in mind that using only these clean, sharp lines can make your drawing very stale and boring, so I always make sure to do some freehand sketching as well. Just like you can see here with the rear suspension mechanism. Also, don't forget that you are using a digital tool. Make your life easier by actually taking advantage of this digital environment by copying and pasting to speed up your workflow where possible. Just as you could see me doing it with the rear suspension and here you can see me repeat the same steps with the front suspension as well. Another way to benefit of the digital environment is using layers. I always draw new elements on new layers, then delete what's below them and merge everything down on one layer again. I tend to record my screen with the built-in Windows game bar, which sadly does not see my layers bar, so I can't show you how my layer structure actually looks like. Uh, but when I work, I have a bunch of layers and I always try to merge everything into one functional layer if possible, or at least to minimize the number of layers at the end of the process. A part of my workflow that I am not happy, I'm not too happy about is this extreme zooming in. I just saw a video by a fellow YouTuber called the Modern Day James, who actually does not zoom in at all. That way he only, he only details stuff that you can actually see as detail with the bare eyes. I will definitely try and approach my future drawings like this, because I find that really makes the drawing more appealing. In the construction of the handlebars I miscalculated my perspective and you will see that in the later steps I will correct this. Don't be afraid to adjust your drawing, even if there are parts that you really like about it. This is industrial design sketching and in the end this is not art, but a way of communicating a product or service and communication has to be adjusted and improved so that everyone can understand it. And that's what you have to do with your sketch as well. You have to improve it in a way that it communicates the best way the product is going to be. Another example is this folding mechanism that I had to look up in the middle of the drawing because I didn't actually know how it looks like. Always use reference and make sure that your ideas have at least a sense that they could be realized. Actually looking back at it, I find those triangular shapes not just silly, but I think they also weaken the structure at that point. So I would either take them out or make them smaller, but I don't think it works as it is right now. Well, Anyways, I don't have much else to say uh, and also a bit late, so I'm just gonna let the music play from here on and uh, as always, if you found this video useful, please like and subscribe and check out my Instagram for more sketches. See you next time!